So the first thing that VeloCloud is doing is actually we are disproving what Rolling Stone said in the 70s. And of course you would know what that is because Rolling Stone said, get off my cloud. And what VeloCloud is doing is we're inviting everybody to get on our cloud. So we are a completely 100% cloud delivered architecture. What that means is, while we are software defined, which is taking functionality out of the hardware and moving it into the software, we're doing that with a cloud-based system. So we have functionality that we're moving into the cloud and we run that as a service, but we also provide it to our service provider partners so that they can run it as a service. So we've done a couple of very interesting things. One of the things that we're not doing is we're not building just the next generation device to put in these branch offices. We're saying that the functionality that exists in these branch offices, we can take that functionality, we can move it into the cloud, and we can run that functionality as a service. So that's what VeloCloud SD-WAN is all about. Enterprise wide area networks have not changed in the last 25 to 30 years. The current architecture doesn't work, and it doesn't work from three standpoints. The first is that the current architecture, from an ROI perspective, the amount of money that you spend on the network it's not consistent with these new applications coming in and wanting to be served from cloud locations. The second is that customers really want these edge deployments or the branch office deployments to be done really quickly and in a manner where these high media applications would be supported. And the third is that the current architecture doesn't really support everything from a performance standpoint. We just ask at a business level, what is your policy and which are your important applications? And using that, we perform all of the magic underneath, the complicated steering and QoS and security and segmentation on the basis of that high-level language that the enterprises tell us. So that is one way that we completely simplify how wide area networking is done. The other way is that we have a zero touch and automated deployment process for installation, for configuration, for operations, and for maintenance because we don't expect that there will be IT sitting at all these remote locations. Certainly not today, and definitely not as things move on, and the number of deployment endpoints increases because of mobility and because of IoT. So this is how we are simplifying enterprise-wide area networking. Being completely cloud-delivered, the ability to support real-time applications on best effort networks, and being fully multi-tenant for service providers are the three ways that VeloCloud is quite different from other SD-WAN players. Really what we're doing out here is saying that there's an entire architectural shift that is happening. And this architectural shift is bringing the cloud into networking technologies. So cloud is the network means that we're taking both cloud-based technologies and the actual cloud that has been constructed out there, both the public as well as the private cloud, to move functions that otherwise would have been locked up in hardware appliances. We move those functions into the cloud and run that as a service. So, when that really happens, the cloud literally is your network. When we look pragmatically at what we expect enterprises and our service provider customers to do, my expectation is that moving functions into the cloud and running them as a service is going to be an enduring architecture that's going to exist for a while. So one area that, that VeloCloud, as well as Cloud as the Network, could bring is just seamlessly look at all types of connectivity connectivity, and just look at it as being one connection that you get to the cloud. Why should you, the consumer, have to worry about, you know, is my internet IP address properly assigned or not? What's going on with DHCP? Or is my Wi-Fi on? Or is my LTE on? All you want to do is get connectivity to your applications. You want to talk to your friends, you want to watch a movie, you want to, you want to maybe converse with your CRM. And you should all be able to do that with a network that gives you the security, ubiquity, and reliability using the cloud as the underlying architecture. So that's really what we expect to happen, and we're already seeing that happening today.